This presentation is going to cover relevant experiences for psychology majors at UCF. What is relevant experience? Relevant experience can come from an internship, service learning or volunteering position, being a teaching assistant or a research assistant with our psychology faculty, or peer advising, mentoring, tutoring, part-time or full-time work, and more. Why do you need relevant experience? Well, for starters, it helps you learn about the fields that you want to go into and see if it's right for you. It's also a great opportunity to network with professionals that are in your field. They can provide you letters of recommendation and be sources of references for future positions. It'll help you gain skills for life and also qualifications listed for your resume. Discover your story for your personal statement or goal statement essay when you're applying to graduate school as well. This helps you learn about the working world around you and your place in it. Where can you find these relevant experiences? First, use your network. You have family, friends, coworkers, and other people around you that you can ask to see if they know someone who can connect you to the field that you're interested in. You can also just do a general Google search of professionals in your chosen fields that are nearby you. A lot of UCF alumni from psychology are listed on LinkedIn as well. You can set up an informational interview with these individuals to ask about their career and then ask them if they have experiences that you can do to get involved. The Psychology Advising Center can also share about research and teaching assistant positions as well as the peer advising internship. The UCF Office of Experiential Learning can connect you through Handshake to different internship opportunities. Some ideas of professionals you can reach out to are professors in psychology and other departments, getting involved on campus such as tutoring with the Student Academic Resource Center or academic services for student athletes, advising or peer mentor internships with the psychology department, first year advising and experience, transfer and transition services, career services, counseling and psychological services, and more on campus. Or there's other jobs you can find, maybe with the Rec and Wellness Center, Housing and Residence Life, being an O team with first year experience, the Office of Student Involvement, in the Student Union, and more. You can reach out to mental health counselors or social workers, rehabilitation counselors or addiction counselors, mental health agencies, suicide hotlines, victim advocacy agencies, applied behavioral analysis therapists, human resources recruiters, such as the ones that come to events that Career Services holds, different schools nearby, you can talk to K-12 teachers, principals, counselors, or school psychologists. You can talk to other psychologists, such as industrial organizational psychologists, experimental psychologists, neuropsychologists, sports psychologists, forensic psychologists, and more in the area. In the health field, you can talk with medical doctors, DOs, dentists, physician's assistants, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and more. There might be supervisors and managers in nonprofit as well as just regular for-profit businesses and organizations. You can check with the theme parks, SeaWorld, Disney, Universal, Whatever your goal is, you can find someone who is doing it and they will talk with you. The Office of Experiential Learning can get you connected to internships, co-ops, and service learning positions. All you need to do is make an account on their Handshake website and they'll get you connected. They can give you credit for some of these opportunities, depending on hours of work. They might even have paid positions. Another opportunity to build a relationship with a professor is being a teaching assistant within the psychology department. You can help the professor with proctoring exams using the Scantron machine to grade tests, answer questions, moderate discussions, hold review sessions, and more. To become a teaching assistant, you do need to earn an A in that psych course. You must have at least a 3.0 UCF GPA. Ask that professor if they need a TA for the next time they're teaching that class. It helps if you build a relationship with them by participating in class and visiting them during office hours. That way they can see you're serious about their subject. Once you have permission from the professor, forward it to psychadvising at ucf.edu so we can enroll you in FERPA training in the one credit PSY4942 Instructional Experiences in Psychology course. This course can be taken up to three times. You could be a peer advisor with the Psychology Advising Center. To be a peer advisor, it is a three semester commitment from fall until summer, working 10 hours a week in the office during the 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. hours. The application is going to be due early in summer, followed by a face-to-face -face interview and then mandatory training in late summer before the fall starts. 
If you're accepted, you'll take a class, PSY 3022 Academic Counseling. It's a three credit course, S or U, satisfactory or unsatisfactory graded, that counts as a general psychology elective. You'll meet with a peer advisor in PSY 250 during walk-in hours to learn more to see if this internship is right for you. Being a research assistant with a psychology or other professor is a great way to earn research skills needed for applying for doctoral programs. The skills you will gain will be running a study, working with participants, collecting data, using SPSS outside of the classroom, summarizing scholarly articles, as well as connecting with grad students and faculty. To be a research assistant with a psychology professor, meet with the professor to find out if they have positions available in their labs. Before you do that, make sure you've read up on their labs and everything that they're doing. You can also apply on the RA Match link. You'll be working around 10 hours a week in the research lab under a grad student or faculty member, usually for about two semesters. Check out our other presentation on being a research assistant on our website. Remember that any credit that you're receiving, you will pay normal tuition for. So this does include internship, research, and other opportunities. Check out our website for more information and links on relevant experiences. You can also contact the psych advising at ucf.edu for more questions.